friends today in this lesson we are going to learn how to solve quadratic equation by factor let's take first example x square minus 81 equals 0 in this example x square is the perfect square of x and 81 is perfect square of 9 so let's write x because the square root of x square is x and the square root of 81 is 9 so we will write 9 here but in this example here is minus 81 so we will give plus sign to one 9 and minus sign to another 9 which equals 0 when we take x plus 9 equals 0 then x equals minus 9 will come When we take x minus 9 equal 0, then we will get x equal plus 9 or 9. So, let us take second example. 16 x square minus 64 equals 0. Now, in this example, the leading coefficient is 60 which is the perfect square of 4 and 64 is also perfect square of 8 so we will write 4 which is the square root of 16 x which is the square root of x square so 4x here we will write 4x and the square root of 64 is 8 so we will write here 8 but in example there is minus 64 that's why we will add plus sign to 1 8 and minus sign to another 8 equals 0 when we take 4x plus 8 equals 0 then we will get 4x equals minus 8 now we will divide minus 8 by 4 which comes minus 2 so we got the value of x as minus 2 when we take 4x minus 8 equals 0 then 4x equals 8 so now we will divide 8 by 4 to get the value of x so x equals plus 2 or 2 this is how we solve quadratic equation now let's take third example x square minus 3x minus 70 equals 0 now in this equation leading coefficient has not given when there is no leading coefficient means already one present there so 1 into 70 equals 70 but here it's minus sign so we will give minus sign also here now we have to find two numbers when we multiply these two numbers their multiplication should come minus 70 and when we add these two numbers their addition should come minus 3 so how to find these two numbers so it's very easy when we divide 
this 70 by 1 then 70 win, will come when we divide 70 by 2 then 35 will come when we divide 70 by 5 then 14 comes when we will divide 70 by 7 then 10 will come as you see here when we multiply 7 and 10 the multiplication is 70 and the difference is also 3 but we want multiplication as minus 70 so we have to give minus sign when we will give minus sign here so uh, so it becomes minus 7 and 10 when we multiply minus 7 and 10 the multiplication will come as minus 70 but addition will not come as minus 3 it will come as plus 3 that's why we will change the sign of these two numbers we now so we will take plus 7 and minus 10 now their multiplication will be minus 70 and their addition will be minus 3 so we got to these numbers minus uh, plus 7 and minus 10 so let's write x plus 7 and in another bracket x minus 10 equals 0 when we take x plus 7 equals 0 then x equals minus 7 when we take x minus 10 equals 0 then we will get x equals 10 now let's take next example x square plus 4x minus 96 equals 0 now in this example the leading coefficient is not given means it is 1 here so 1 into minus 96 equals minus 96 now we will find these two numbers so their multiplication will be 96 and their addition will be plus 4 when we divide 96 by 4 then 96 will come when we divide 96 by 2 then it will 48 will come when we divide 96 by 3 then 32 will come when we divide 96 by 4 then 24 will come when we divide 96 by 6 then 16 will come when we divide 96 by 8 then 12 comes so guys you can see here we got these two numbers 8 and 12 when we multiply 8 and 12 their multiplication will be 96 and the difference between these two number is also 4 but we want the multiplication as minus 96 so we will give minus sign to 8 now let's see when we multiply minus 8 and plus 12 then their multiplication will be minus 96 and when we will add minus 8 and plus 12 their addition will be plus 4 so we got these two numbers minus 8 and plus 12 so let's write x minus 8 in another bracket x plus 12 equals 0 when we take x minus 8 equals 0 we will get x equals 8 when we take x plus 12 equals 0 we will get the value of x as minus 12 now we will see the last example 6x square minus 54 equals 0 so in this example 
the leading coefficient is 6 which is not perfect square of any number and 54 is also not perfect square of any number. So, how to solve this equation? Let us see 6 x square minus 54 equals 0. So, 6 x square equals 54. Now, here 6 is multiplied to x square. So, we will divide 54 by 6 to get the value of x square. So, we will get 9 the value of x square. As you know 9 is the perfect square of 3. So, we will get x equals plus 3 or x equals minus 3. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel.